I'll go ahead and answer this. I'm up early, early this morning uh, answering mail, so I might as well just go ahead and answer this. Um, and someone respectfully, respectfully wrote me an email uh, and asked me if I love my country. So I'm going to go ahead and answer this. I hope, I hope everybody gets this, okay? I hope you do. First of all, the only country uh, that I was born in is here in America. Um, I grew up in America just like anybody else who was born here. I went to the public school system. Um, I joined the military. Um, I was in the 82nd Airborne Division uh, for five years. Uh, I went to Germany and I was in the 3rd Infantry Division um, for two and a half, three years. And I finished up at Joint Readiness Training Center. I was in Op 4 for the remainder of my time. Uh, for a total of 10 years military service. Uh, I have an extraordinary amount of jumps from airplanes, uh, aircraft, um, be it uh, Chinooks, C-130, C-141s, etc., etc., etc. I've been in hot places, and I'll just leave it at that. Um, so I've, I've served my country. Afterwards, I, I got out, and, um, uh, and I'm a pastor, and I'm a pastor now. Um, now, I don't know how much more patriotic than that, you know, than you can be than that, uh, at least, and I'm going to say this, at least I'm not like our present president today, a chicken hawk, where I turned around when I had the opportunity, um, to join the military. I didn't go and take a deferment or try to go and because I have a lot of money, cause I don't have a lot of money and, and, and then get doctors. Uh, to write stuff about my feet saying I've got uh, bone spurs or heel spurs, but my fat ass been walking on them for the last 70 something years. Uh, it's amazing in this country how that the poor and the middle class are the only people that serve and die for this country while the rich continues to keep getting passes. Uh, and that's one thing I don't like about this country. And as an American, I have the right not only to praise, but I have a right to criticize this country. Uh, and I think I have earned that right to criticize that country, this country. Um, so I think that my opinions, uh, while in your uh, perspective point of view may be just only opinions, I believe that my opinions are gendered more towards facts than the majority of the people in this country. I don't believe in lying to people and misleading people. I believe in telling the truth like it is. And so when I speak the truth, why does that make me hate America? I mean, I actually reserve the right as the American, as an American to protest this government for redress and a grievance. If so, I also reserve my right um, uh, to freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Uh, and that right is supported by the Second Amendment. The founding fathers of this country thought that the First Amendment, they thought it was so important that he put it first. And then they supported that amendment by the Second Amendment. Uh, now, do I like all the things that I see going on in this country? No, I do not. So just because I criticize this country and the racism that, that, that continually goes on in this country, because I criticize the politics of this country and the way things run, and is that not an American right to be able to do that? Uh, I'm a student. Not only am I a student of the Bible, but I'm a student somewhat of politics and history. And history is always written by those who won or who have won the war and the battles. And that doesn't mean that history is always true. And, and because I bring up these truths, for some reason or another, or another way, people just assume uh, that the utopia that this world has created for them here in America is all true. Your Thanksgiving is a lie. Your Christmas is a lie. Your going to church on Sunday is a lie. It's not supported by the Bible that you say that you carry. And, and because I say that, all of a sudden, uh, people think I'm unpatriotic. Um, I, I totally disagree with um, innocent black men dying on the streets uh, by the police force, or I call the slave patrol in this country. Um, we, my people, have had a very bad rap in this country, and we have been mistreated in this country for 400 years, which I say that if you don't think that the mistreatment is, is warranted, then turn it around, flip it around. Let me and my people turn around and treat 
the whites in this country, the way that we have been treated, and let's see how you would talk and how you would sound. Let's see if you would speak up like I, I do and many of my other people, or, or would you just be silent and be quiet? You see, that's one thing of the principles of the scriptures they teach. You, you consider others as yourself. That's what it says. And so if a lot of these hypocritical Christians in this country say that they love me, does it not teach you according to your philosophy and theology to love me as your neighbor? And if I'm so lost in this country, then, then why don't you try to save me? Why don't you show me the love that you say that you have in your heart? But we all know that, it's, that you don't have it in there. Uh, and because right out of the abundance of the heart, this mouth is telling us everything that you believe. So let me see. I grew up in this country, graduated from school. Um, I've been in the military, served 10 years. I think that makes me pretty patriotic. I really, truly do. Uh, even if you haven't served in the military, I'd reserve for you. Uh, hold on, let me rephrase that. When I swore an oath to the Constitution, uh, at the time, at 18 years old, 19 years old, I didn't know what I was doing. It wasn't until some time later that I actually really understood the oath and I understood the hypocrisy. Um, that doesn't make me any greater of a man just because I served in the military. But what does anger me and burn me is people like Bill Clinton and people like um, Donald Trump. When they had a chance to go to war to fight for this country, they skipped out and they turned around and, and went to Canada, Bill Clinton, or they turned around and told a lie about some damn heel spurs or bone spurs, the reason why they couldn't go to Nam. And then everybody else is out here getting tore up. So what is this world all about? The rich ruling over the poor to their own hurt. And, and of course, like I said, I personally believe, and this is only my personal opinion, and I'm going to make it clear again, it's my personal opinion. I think that the firstborn of every rich man in this country should serve a minimum of six years in the United States military. And any time that they go to these warrantless wars that have not been declared by Congress, but a conflict, I believe we ought to put them in the front line, on the front line. As a matter of fact, send them all to airborne school. Make them all have the MOS of 11 Bravo, which is infantry, a foot soldier, and then put them in the heat of the damn battle. I guarantee you that these chicken hawks would not be so bullish on war if their firstborn son was out there. Well, then you get to see. Uh, because, see, as long as you and I, our people, our children are dying um, out there, uh, it doesn't mean nothing to them. God bless America, they say. God bless America. Thank you for your service to our country. While the whole time, you're racist towards me and you hate me. So just because that I express my perspectives, opinions, and point of views don't mean that I hate America. I love what the theory of America stands for, but in function, I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Um, so it doesn't mean I'm anybody's enemy. Now, I have a lot of people that are my enemies, but I'm not their enemy. But once I find out that you are my enemy, um, I'll be the best enemy you ever had. I promise you that promise I will make to you. I'm not like a lot of people hide behind the cameras, hide behind videos, hide behind aliases. You see me, you see my face and you hear my words and I mean what I say and say what I mean. Um, but so therefore, you know, I don't fit the definition of coward like a lot of people do in this country who hide behind voice overtures and run and hide behind uh, all kinds of stuff. So does that make me un-American. No, as a matter of fact, by the mere fact of me being able to protest, by the mere fact of me being able to voice my opinion shows how American that I am and not a coward. So I don't dance unless I like the song and I don't scratch uh, unless I have an itch. That's just all there is to it. I don't walk into the beat of the drum of other people. Why? Because according to the value system of this country right here, and I keep constantly on my desk right here. This thing in which I has been thumped so many times that the pages are starting to uh, 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 whittle away. According to the documents that I constantly carry on my desk and I read, read them from time to time. Uh, every single one of them, including this one right here, the Citizens Rule Book. Yeah. So I, I know the laws of this land. And I know what the laws say. And I don't know all of them because it's just impossible. When you wake up in the morning, you're breaking a law. 
When you go to sleep at night, you're breaking a law. As soon as you hit that pavement and get out there on the public road, you are breaking a law. They can pull you over for anything, anytime they want. So um, I think that if the churches and the preachers and these sissy, coward, infeminate pastors out there in the Christian religion would get some testicular fortitude and some stomach and tell the truth to the people and stuff, the first thing they would do is they would teach people how how to actually protect themselves, especially when they go into these soft forms called churches and stuff by arming you. And then that way when somebody comes in with a gun and they choose to shoot uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 or reload again, you can stop that threat right then and there. I'm sorry. I just don't like your Christian theology. Now, just because I say that, does that mean I'm against you because you choose to be a Christian? No, I am against the religion of Christianity because it's all false, every bit of it. And I hate people being lied to. Jesus was not a Christian. Moses was not a Christian. Abraham was not a Christian. David, Paul, and James, and Peter were not a Christian. So where do you get that mess from? You have to go outside of that Bible to get it. And just because you see something written in there with pensmanship, use a little bit of intelligence and exercise some discernment. Well, what am I? I'm an Israelite. That's exactly what I am. And you know what I've learned over the years? I've learned over the years. There's something about this woolly hair right here that this country hates. I don't know what it is. It's a spiritual thing. But this woolly hair is a constant reminder of when you read over in the book of Revelations of what Jesus looked like. Now, why should people get all upset? Because I voice my opinion. You voice your opinion. I don't get all upset. I don't want to go and, and, and threaten people and all this old other stuff. What is the problem? What is the problem? It's just that I have the testicular fortitude. I have the boldness that's been granted to me by the creator of the universe to be able to speak the truth and say the truth and to tell the truth in spite of things being unpopular or uncomfortable. I don't, I don't give a damn about people's ears and their feelings being comfortable. I care about the truth and the truth alone. I can't say it any other way. That's called being a man, which this generation is quickly losing. They don't even know what the hell a man is today. But Anyway, I love America because my people are the original aborigines of this land and of this country. Why wouldn't I love this land? That's what y'all sent us, according to the Apocrypha. So, um, hey, I said a mouthful in this video. I hope you get my perspective. Now, if you want to serve that false religion, go ahead and have fun. I understand that many of you believe that you're serving Jesus. But Paul told you clearly that there is another Jesus that's being preached and taught. And that's the Jesus that Christianity is preaching. It ain't the same one. All you got to do, if you just pick up that Bible and if you just read that book, you would be utterly surprised how deceived you are. That's it. Well, I think that's good enough for right now to explain to you my perspective, point of view, and my stance concerning Am I patriotic or not? I think that answers the question. Now, my question to you is, how patriotic are you?